Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. Every day, oh my goodness, independently achieved emotional fulfillment. King of Swords, all up in your head or somebody outside of you is all up in their head. Not emoting, could be bachelor energy, doesn't have to be. Ooh, Six of Pentacles, so equal give and take, wanting to partner. Um, Thank you everybody who came. Hi Queen of Cups, there you are. To the High Priestess Healing Tarot party last night. Um, I love you guys so much. You filled my heart up. I slept so good. I'm actually going to go back to bed after this because I'm still a little tired. Um, you filled my heart up and you are helping heal me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you are doing and pouring back into me. And to the people who got locked out because Zoom apparently locks the room at 100. I have to look into an upgrade. Who knew? I'm sorry um, for those people who couldn't get in and wanted to get in. I'm going to figure out something to make it up to those people. Everybody who registered, keep your eye on your email today or tomorrow. I'm going to have a little special treat just for you guys in there as a thank you. And um, maybe we'll do another High Priestess event maybe towards the end of the month or next month so everybody can get together again if you want to. Um, thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just want to get a little wellness check from our Canadian high priestesses. Are we good? Are you guys good? This I'm like just hearing about the fires today. I noticed the sun yesterday and I was like, what is going on? Woke up with a headache today because me and the galaxy girls sleep with the windows open. Um, for that ocean breeze, baby. But now we have headaches over here. Keep me posted, Canada. We love you. All right. Six of Pentacles, Temperance. Balance, balance, oh my God. Okay, balance, balance. This is equal give and take reciprocity, six of pentacles. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Archangel Mikey boy. Um, giving everyone patience <laughs> along this path of journey. How many days in a row do we have Michael out here? Remember that movie, Michael, with John Travolta? Oh my God, I loved that movie. I loved John Travolta so much growing up. Oh my goodness. And look who's talking. Okay, back here to the angels. We are being protected from something, but at the same time, it's like the angels and our higher selves. Nope. The angels, our higher selves, and our humanness are getting on the same page about what balance looks like, not only in our 3D, but also in our emotions. Also in our emotions, right? Being balanced rather than triggered, being balanced rather than feeling insecure, being balanced rather than demanding or attempting to control being balanced rather than engaging in codependent behaviors and toxic or draining relationships. Four of Wands, 11-11. This is celebration, this is parties, this is family gatherings, this is marriage, this is commitment, this is happy, this is security, it's safety, it's strong foundation, it's yellow, so it's enlightenment, it's the sun. We got two nods towards the sun over here. Union. What else we got, Spirit? This is pretty. Whoa. Ten of Wands. A chapter ending. Someone putting down a burden. Someone, a truck just pulled up at the house and I'm like, please don't be for me. Please be the neighbor. <laughs> my antisocial. I'm like, please do not be knocking on my door. No, okay, it's a neighbor. Oof. I'm like, not today, Satan. I cannot. We need a solo day. Whoa. That's the second time this week too, right? Ten of Wands and Ace of Wands. You put down the burden. You com Ten, complete the cycle. Boom. Spirit brings in something new. What is going on? Okay. Let me sit with this for a minute. Ten, fourteen, fifteen, six of Wands. What's six of Wands? Appreciation. Whoa. Six, six progress and yesterday was six six high priestess day progress um harmony appreciation being recognized in the spotlight Whoa. this feels like a mystery a classic whodunit but we'll get to the bottom of this oh god <sighs> anxiety sleepless nights worries concerns ptsd the higher fit higher level of commitment mind body soul connection the spiritual teacher Marriage, commitment, change. 
queen of swords being guarded having boundaries negotiating being guarded first let's for a small group of you it doesn't matter oh god yeah i was just gonna say it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine look king of cups comes out there's a small group of you out there that listen i'm with you so i'm not judging you <laughs> We say we want this. But are you allowing it? Or are you allowing yourself to be triggered and then reacting rather than responding? Or growing concerned over things that could go wrong, that could be happening, that could be the underlying... Now, I'm not saying go against your intuition, but the discernment is, is this intuition or is this fear? Intuition is like, no one can tell me otherwise this is true, whether it's scary or not. It's like, this is true. Sometimes it's uncomfortable, but you know it's true. Fear is, I don't know, but I'm going to try and get ahead of this by acting in a certain way to protect myself. Well, that's fear. That's not intuition for some of you. And I'm not, listen, I'm not, I don't know the antidote. I'm working on that too. I think the message for everybody though is what keeps you up at night that you can let go? Only, only we can let it go. You know, with the help of like the divine and practices and rituals and divination, but only we can let it go. What do you, what do you need to let go of so that this balance in your 3D can come in and the balance in your emotions can come in? So that the balance in your relationships can come in. You put down the burden from the past and that's when spirit wants to deliver you. Yes, this is the spiritual new beginning. This is a passionate new beginning. This is a fiery new beginning. This is the, the fire that lights you up. It gives you hope again. It gives you motivation again. It gets you going again. No shade though. I, I really get it. More than I, sh more than I share. I know I share a bit, but... All right, Six of Pentacles. Tell me a little bit more for High Priestesses. What is the Six of Pentacles representing right now? The moon. Talking to the moon. Trying to get to you. And hopes you're on the other side. Talking to me too. Listen, there could be somebody... That you are not talking to, <laughs> Four of Swords, that lives far from you, that is thinking of you when they see the moon. Submerged in emotion. Why Six of Pentacles, though? Mystery, darkness, the unknown, healing. Is this taking people by surprise? Are your feelings taking you by surprise? Are their feelings taking them by surprise? Both people need heart healing. Um, I can't tell if this is romance or family or friends. So let's just roll with that, okay? Put it where it goes. <sighs> Talking to the moon. Pisces Cancer. Card number nine. Big, this card is the heaviest, like uh, the most significant popping out. Is the heart healing the heart healing heart healing has to happen maybe the reciprocity is healing the heart by surprise trying to get to you okay damn death and rebirth at the bottom scorpio energy this is a rebirth of how you or this person or both of you are looking at the situation card number 13 breaks down to four Stability, safety, security. Master number four, four. You're the master healer. Ooh. Ooh, why'd that hit me? <laughs> Ooh. You are healing you and they are healing them. I really got to get a rune chart. There's a rune here. Can somebody let me know in the comments what, what this rune is? I forget every time. Damn it. Ten of cups under that. Definitely family. Definitely romance. Definitely love partnership. Could be, could even be siblings. 
There's a death and a rebirth of how two people or a group of people are looking at each other as it pertains to equal give and take, the emotional balance and patience that's required for this to be like a safe, structured, um, secure dynamic. And like any, it's like the lingering, the lingering residue, the lingering pain, the lingering lessons, they're being, it looks like they are being put down. This doesn't feel like resistance. Let's get some clarifiers. Okay. Temperance, Archangel Michael, what are you here for? What are you here for? <laughs> Queen of Wands, another fire card. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Holding the light. Holding the light. Okay. And death and rebirth. Did some kind of healing have to happen? Um, separation? Maybe you guys weren't talking. Or just like, not like blocked, right? Just like, maybe just like taking a break from each other. In some way. Because some kind of healing has to happen. The Queen of Wands is the, is the queen that goes into her shadow. She does, she goes into hermit mode. She does shadow work. She does, um hypnosis and meditations and she sits with shamans she does the dark dark deep stuff and that's why she comes out holding that light this little light of mine and her third eye ends up being activated from that crown chakra activated from that is the feminine on this mission of healing to receive the balanced reciprocity that's the death and rebirth whoa look at the bottom damn scales Balance, scales, crazy, right? Divine intervention, card number 11, 11, 11, 11. A lot of manifestation energy here. Um, and when I'm saying manifestation energy now, I'm essentially meaning like attracting the vibration that you're in. That's really what I mean. Attracting more of the vibration that you're in or the vibration you are embodying. Oh, that's like another 11 too. It's crazy. Two of wands, travel. Is there distance? There's some kind of distance energetically, but I'm curious if there's physical distance here too. Stepping outside the comfort zone, making that decision. Tell me why the Four of Wands is here. Did the Divine Feminine have to go through, whoa, learning what safe, stable, oh my God, did the Divine Feminine have to learn what safe, secure, and stable looks like and feels like to heal their heart because maybe in the past you've chosen not safe. That's that subconscious programming, right? The moon. We start, we choose, we don't want to all the time, but sometimes you choose not safe, not available, not good for you, not aligned because it's in your subconscious. It's from your childhood. It's from your teen years or it's from, you know, preconditioned mindset. Patterns, beliefs, constructs. It looks like the feminine has to learn <laughs> what safe, secure, balanced is. Damn, that's that's a tough report card to get. Especially if the feminine has been betrayed or hurt or let down, disappointed repeatedly in the past. That may be an underlying theme of like, all right, you can't. Um, think your way to healing talk therapy is very important that that is like that gives you the roadmap of what needs healing that's bubbling up right now but then beyond that is energetic healing beyond that is meditation hypnosis psychedelic work in the safe container of a guide or a shaman it's rewiring the neural pathways it's actually getting into the physiology of your brain and your chemical makeup Oh, we can't access that from normal consciousness. Oh my goodness. Justice again. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Wands. What's this chapter being closed? Cycle closing out. Burden being dropped. The lessons coming with, but the weight of it is staying behind. But the star came out in reverse. That's what has to be healed. Thank you, Spirit. That's what has to be healed. Are you seeing the, the light theme here? Light. It's like a circle of light, a circle of light, a circle of light, a circle of light. Not to be confused with the circle of life. <laughs> it moves us all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
that's what has to be healed. Putting this down, magician. This came out in the. I tried to record. It was the third time I'm recording. Every time it got botched up, and I was like, "All right, spirit, what are you trying to do here?" Circle of light again. Circle of light again. Circle of light again. Okay. You have the ability to manifest and attract and align and create the healing that your heart is seeking. Look at her heart. Doesn't she look, she's like grateful, but the, also there's an air of like desperation. Like, please take, please take it. Please heal it. Please pour in the light. You have the ability to manifest this. You have the clear cognizance, the awareness, the downloads from the divine to lead you towards this double infinity look. Infinity, infinity, connected to the divine. Nine of Pentacles, that's the feminine energy again here. All right, tell me a little bit more about this Ten of Wands. It's so hot in here, oh my gosh. <laughs> Page of Wands, look at that circle of light. You are, you've gotta be kidding. Spirit's like, I don't do kidding. <laughs> Aries, Sagittarius, Leo again. Page of Wands is a spiritual new journey. It's being excited for this path excited for the new for the newness it's being enthralled it's being eager it's being lit up there's an element of freedom and vulnerability here i think that is the free will step that you take for your higher self to lead you to this healing 10 wands plus that wand is 11 wands another nod towards 11 we're getting a lot of manifestation energy a lot of magician energy the 11 wands also breaks down. I know people don't like that, but it does break down to two of wands. One plus one is two. Two of wands, stepping outside the comfort zone, doing something that you don't normally do. There's a healing modality that you don't normally do that you're either embarking on already or you've been considering. If you've been considering it, this is a sign. Go. Book the retreat. Go to the healer. Take the healing course. Drink the ayahuasca. Do whatever you got to do. <laughs> do whatever you got to do. Six of Cups. Wow. Definitely could be family energy. And if it's not family, it's romance. It's definitely sweet love. Sweet, sweet, sweet love. Did you not know what sweet love was? Have did, have you not known what sweet love is and safe love is? Oh, if that's triggering. I'm very, 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 very sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. We want that. Well, let me not talk for everybody. Sweet love, safe love is like, it's thoughtful, it's consistent, it's gentle, it's not demanding, it's not judgy, it's not over-sexualized. That's not sweet love. You can, I mean, like, you know, you can get, the rule of thumb, I think, is like, are you, are you safe? Are you consistent? Are you genuinely invested? And I think passion can passion comes later. I think sometimes what happens with spiritual people is that um, you are constantly having fire energy run through you because you're spiritual, right? You're so connected to the divine. Your, your fire energy is spirituality. It's also closely aligned with your sacral chakra, which is sexual energy. What happens a lot of times is spiritual people will confuse sexual or sensual desire, drive, interest, activity for spiritual connection. Just because they live in the same house does not equate them, though. But if you have a safe and secure, sweet, gentle, genuinely um, caring for you love, that same fire, passionate energy will come later. And it doesn't always have to be way later. Just like, you know, <laughs> if we're... If we're lead, you know, if people are leading with that, that's... And I mean, in, in my observations, in my scientific method, that's usually a red flag. Well, speak your truth, high priestess. I just got in my head. I was like, I think I'm saying too much. I think I should not have said all of that shit just now. And then this card comes out. Speak your truth. Speak your truth, high priestess. Set your soul free. Allow yourself to receive that sweetness, 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 safety. You are safe, Pisces. Say it. I am safe. I attract safe. Say it. Also say this. I am the high priestess. 
I trust patterns over promises. I don't have to have my eyes open to see. I am the peep show, motherfuckers. Just kidding, sorry. <laughs> Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Doesn't it look like this is the wand? This Ace of Wands, throwing it up to the sky. <gasps> what happened? What was that? You see me take that so personally from Spirit? I'm like, you just like maybe fumble the ball. Okay, lover showed up in reverse. This is definitely, ugh, Spirit's messing with me right now. Lovers in reverse. Heal the heart. Heal the parts of the heart that got a little rocked up from the past lovers. And you know who you are. If you saw very dysfunctional relationships growing up, whether your caretakers or people around you, that's also that also influences. Get in there. Permit. This is you elevating and ascending beyond earth energy, beyond the basics. This is you looking at things from a hawk's eye view, right? The higher level perspective, seeing things for what they are, not what you want them to be, seeing things for what they are, not the potential that they have. Damn, that one stung. Ten of Wands, that's what they want you to walk away from. It's a beautiful gift that you have that you can see and size up potential in everybody, but potential is not actualized into reality until it's actualized into reality. You should be choosing people for you based on what is real now. How are they showing up now? How am I showing up now? And trusting that to be enough evidence for you. And if they're meant to catch up, they'll catch up. Sometimes slow and steady wins the race, right? Ace of Wands. Whoa. Six of Swords. Putting on your little red cape, taking action, getting in that boat, and leaving this. Leaving the old ways, leaving the hurt, leaving the <laughs> the crows here. It's death and rebirth energy, right? It's transformation, and we have death and rebirth out of here. So this to me means that you, the feminine, could be the masculine too, though. Put you where you go. The transformation is through leaving, and the change in viewpoint is through leaving. Swords is mental energy. So this is a mental lesson. Of course, it's tied to our heart, right? But look, it's swords, 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 star. That's all air. That's all nine of swords, four of swords, three of swords, six of swords. You see this? Yes, it's connected to your heart, but it's it's because of what's happening from your brain that's causing the repeated lessons of pain. Like... The brain is the one right now, the, the subconscious is like leading you down these paths repeatedly. Not for all of you. Some of you already figured this out, right? Some of you are like, yep, I did this. Yep, this makes sense. That's exactly what I had to do. Now I'm ready for safety. Now, I'm a now I can spot safety, right? Now you're attracting safety. But for those of you who are not there yet, your brain is the one that's tripping you up. But once you have the consciousness of that, you can retrain your brain. It's your brain is your phone. Train your train your brain. Train your phone. If there's apps on your phone that you don't fucking want, that's clearing. It's slowing down storage. It's slowing down the phone. Delete the apps. There are neural pathways in your brain that are slowing you down. Delete them. That's this page of swords energy. That's you learning how, and it's going to be different for everybody. Meditation and psychedelics. That that is the way for me, and that's not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. That's beautiful. Find your way. Find your journey. Find the path that allows you to experience that circle of light so that you can be free. Bottom of the deck is the sun. That's what leads you to freedom, clarity. Look at her. Heart chakra open. Wish fulfillment. Card number 19 breaks down to 10. And that's the real 10. That's the real cycle complete. That's having everything that you want and need. One more for this Ace of Wands. Brand new beginning. Leading you away. Wow! again ace of swords an ace clarifying an ace man that gives you the clarity of mind and this could be like put you where you go right family dynamics if there's a family dynamic that's been lingering dysfunctional toxic you know you already know you know what to do this doesn't have to plague you it is not your burden look it is not your burden to bear anymore high priestess they need you, spirit needs you light. Spirit needs you freed up and all the way light, this little light of mine. They need you holding it in your hand because when you hold your light in your hand and you shine it, you help other people feel better and then those people go and shine and then those people go heal. See that ripple effect? 
That's what you do when you heal you. Yep, nine of pentacles. Purity connected to the divine. Keep your eyes out for the birds, the chirping, the singing, the feathers. This is you in divine feminine receiving energy or attracting your divine feminine who is ready to receive. This is, I know healing stuff isn't always fun to talk about, but like this feels really right, Pisces. Does this feel right to you? Can you hit that like button? And even if this isn't, hey, there's a lot of you where like you watch anyway, even when it's not your story. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see you. I appreciate you. Archangel Michael is the alchemist. The queen of wands is her own alchemist. The star is the healing energy. It's the humanitarian, the water bearer. It's healed. It's wish fulfillment. Three of swords, four of swords. You got healing all over this. And if you don't know where to start, that's also okay. I would just go with like, what is the most blatant thing that I know that I do repeatedly that fucks me up? <laughs> that's what got me to Rhythmia. That's what got me to Costa Rica. And then I was like, oh, this is deeper. <laughs> this is deeper than me. This is in the fibers of my brain. But it's okay. There's ways out. There's ways to heal it. Okay. What deck now? Outcomes for Pisces. On this healing journey. Whoa. These are the same that came out last night. I obviously did not shuffle good enough. Let me shuffle again, but let's take these. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the divine counterpart for Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is the family, the home, the marriage, the get-together, the longevity of the relationship, the reconciliation, the everybody is sitting together, having a meal together again. I love this. Mother of Wands came out. Six of Swords came out. All right, let me just get a little shuffle, shuffle over here. Pisces, if you still want to send me your I am the High Priestess mail, I'm keeping that open until the end of June. I'm going to showcase everybody's um, letters and handwriting on my social media and on the community tab here on YouTube. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is below. Thank you so much for all the mail. I love seeing your handwriting. I love seeing you write, I am the high priestess. It heals a part of me when I read you writing, I am the high priestess. All right, spirit. Potential outcomes for Pisces, though we love that last <laughs> set of cards. Three of wands. Oy, oy, oy. They're like, this is the blessed path. This is also healing. You're not going to see the whole route because you'll get scared. So just take one step out of time. Can you do one little thing today? Maybe a little journal prompt, maybe a meditation, maybe uh, let me just take a little inventory of like, what is my pattern with family? What is my pattern in friendships? What is my pattern in love? What's the pattern? High Priestess, you trust patterns over promises, right? We got patterns too. <laughs> no shade. Oh my God, High Priestess, say it. I am the High Priestess. I am the High Priestess. I am the High Priestess. Say it, Pisces. Look, and my little eye. <laughs> I trust patterns over promises. I trust my inner knowing to lead me even in the darkest of nights. I trust what my inner knowing says, even if the external world tells me I'm wrong. I don't need my eyes open to see. I am the peep show. Don't be creepy that I'm being funny, please. I don't have time to set boundaries with masculines in the comments. Four of Swords. Listen, this is how you heal. One step at a time. Eyes closed. Ooh, eyes closed. Go within. That's how you heal. Ooh! And when you come out, you're going to be this gentle, fluffy bunny of a bird. Gentle, gentle. Two, three, four. Sequence. One more for Pisces. Now that you're gone... All that is left is a band of gold. Damn. Two, three, four, five. Are, are you here? Do you see what I'm talking about? 
spirit's like, let me break this down in a different way. In case, in case people are like this, this isn't for me. Let me say it different. <sighs> any instance where you've experienced lack, any instance where you were left out in the cold, whether you are a child, a teenager, a young adult, a middle-aged person, or older than that, in this lifetime or the lifetime before, if you have been left out in the cold, that has left a scar on your heart. They want you to sew up the scars. All of them. As many as you can. As many as you can. Take your time. We got all the time. Sometimes healing up the scars is, I'm going to choose me. <laughs> what a concept. I'm going to choose fun. I'm going to choose believing that people are good. So I'm going to surround myself with good people. Good high priestesses. I'm going to believe that people aren't all about that base. <laughs> I'm going to surround myself with people that value me as a person. I'm going to choose outlets that light me up rather than turn me off. <sighs> Foofy woofy, that one got me. Damn. <laughs> Mother of Wands again. They're saying it over and over and over and over again. Do you hear it? It's the shadow work. Oh my god, the look and the nine of swords underneath that. From this, it's like, okay. The nine of swords, right? We got nine of swords, nine of swords, nine, nine, divine path. You're supposed to do this. This is the fire. It's the pollution, the pollutedness within you. It's the pollutedness in your mind. They want you to clear up the pollutedness in your mind. By facing it, getting to the root of it, and start pouring the antidote in, which is healthy people, healthy mindsets, happier, choosing you, no more codependency, no more obligation, no more negative talk, no more saying things like this. Well, I'm in a tough situation, so I'm not going to be able to blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, if you keep affirming that, you're 100% right. You're 100% right. But if you start brainwashing yourself to believe miracles can happen... Everything's working out for me. Good things are going to come. I can heal this. I can clear this up. With love, I'll nurture myself. That's when you step into this. And see how similar this imagery is? But now it's contained. It's not in her brain. She transformed it into the light inside her body. Adi. Baby. Slow and steady here. Holy guac. That took, that took me. Okay. Advice for Pisces. Even though I just feel like that was it. A win-win outcome is forecast Pisces, full moon in Libra, balancing the scales. It's also about relationships. How many times are we going to have scales today? Balance, 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 balance. Full moon releasing. That theme is so real. Equal give and take. You're very close to achieving your goal. Take a deep breath. Be proud of yourself for where you are, right? A time for healing. Balsamic moon, balsamic vinaigrette moon. Yum. Bottom of the deck. Prosperity lies ahead for you, kid. New moon in Taurus. New moon, manifesting. Taurus, that 3D energy, that equal give and take in your pentacle life. Pentacle proof. If this is like you want restored relationships in your family, it's happening. Relationships, it's happening. But there's a journey inside you that they want you to take so that you attract the most aligned vibration for your highest good like see can you challenge yourself like how what are the little things i can do today to start preparing for my highest good my highest aligned relationships you don't have to though right okay star seeds for my star seeds this feels good like i know i don't know how to explain that though it feels uh, it feels assured it feels reassuring you're beautiful, Mother of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You're beautiful. Do you believe it, though? Oh, Pisces. Pisces, did we just crack a code? Do you believe that you're beautiful? Do you believe that this is happening? Do you believe that you're worthy? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Pisces, you have to believe it. I believe it for you. You are beautiful. You are divine. You're divine. 
Don't let your human side trick you. That's the compass of like, oh, here's a wound. Let me transmute that. Let me go to that. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time, baby. Earth pulsing, pulse of mother, slow down. Time in nature. Nature heals for real. Nature heals for real. And bottom of the deck. I've never seen this one. You got the love. You got the love. Hadarian energy, codependency, boundaries, Pisces. Did we not say this at the beginning? Um, if you need help on like, maybe codependency is new. Maybe you're not sure what that is. I recommend this book. This is what I had to work through in therapy a couple years ago. Melody Beattie, The New Codependency, Help and Guidance for Today's Generations, breaks down what codependency is and how it um, shows up in society, too. It's not just our life. Society kind of promotes codependency. Codependency. And that's why we all get a little tripped up in it. Um, once you start freeing yourself of codependency, you become literally energetically sovereign again. Not easy, though. And I'm sorry, defenselessness, righting past wrongs, uprooting. Pisces, you got to forgive yourself first. Whatever you fucked up, whatever, whatever went wrong, whatever went awry, whatever mistake, whatever thing you said, forgive yourself first. Then forgive the other people who are not offering an apology. Oh, God, that is foofy woofy. All right, Pisces, let me pull a message from Spirit. God, that one got me too. Sorry is also freedom. Forgiveness is also freedom. It's for you. It's not for them. It can be for them, but... Look at you, you majestic freaking unicorn. Discernment is key. Spirit, thank you. You're hitting me with the bangers out here. It's time to decide who gets access to you. Boundaries, codependency, just because they're connected to you does not mean that they are entitled to the connection to you. Card number 25 breaks down to seven. That's a personal decision and a personal reflection for you. One more. Now that you're gone, all that is left is a pen of gold. Divine timing. Let go of your timeline. Spirit has a plan. Card number 47. You already know. It's 11 kids. Big, big manifestation energy. It's all about that alignment. And here you are, High Priestess. You are seeing things clearly. The seer, card number 20, also judgment. You may be making a judgment call based on what you see in your waking life about yourself and the people around you. All right, Pisces, hold my hands. Thank you for everybody who tells me that you really hold my hands. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Let's take a big deep breath in. And release all the bullshit. <sighs> Let's do one more, okay? When you release this time, I really want you to start releasing. Like, what is it that you're holding on to that's toxic for you? I'm going to send a little Reiki out, okay? Hold my hands. Inhale. And release. Pisces, I love you so much. Let me know how this hit. Canadian High Priestesses, will you let us know that you guys are okay? Give us a little wellness check with what's going on. I love you so much, guys. Um, High Priestess Healing Tarot Community Live Chat. Check your emails later today or tomorrow, okay? There's going to be something in there for you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Don't set it today. I'm holding you. I'm holding you. I'm holding you. Thank you for holding me. I'll see you tomorrow.